everybody. Welcome back. I apologize for the lack of content over the last few days. If you check out my community tab, you'll see why. Because my wife and I just had our fourth baby, my second daughter. And at the moment, they're still at the hospital. They've actually been there since Thursday night. But I knew I had to get back and comment on this specific thing. Um, one other thing I wanted to tell you about is a live stream I'm going to be doing tomorrow around 5.30 or so. I'm going to have a special guest, and you'll want to be there. Be there! Yeah. Like I said, I wanted to comment on this clip from The Spew because I find it odd that the media and these cackling hens are suddenly so interested in this January 6th footage when they've spent the last couple years now helping to kind of defend the cover-up of it. Now suddenly that Republicans and Tucker Carlson have the footage, they're very concerned about it. And I think that's obvious why that might be. Because they're so afraid that the carefully crafted Democrat state media narrative is about to be refuted like so many others. Seriously though, they just come right out and say it. So exactly how dangerous it is, is it to let Tucker Carlson reset the narrative on January 6th? They just started saying it publicly in front of cameras. I have a lot more for you, so stick with me. But first, this quick free coin offer from Noble Gold. Noble Gold Investments is pleased to let you know that gold is the best investment class of 2022. According to longtermtrends.net, gold has actually outperformed the S&P 500, Dow, and Bitcoin for 2022. So what are you waiting for? Had you invested in the S&P 500 a year ago, you would be down more than 20%. Bitcoin a year ago, you would be down more than 65%. And if you invested in the Dow a year ago, you would be down almost 10%. Yes, gold has outperformed all of them in 2022. And silver was not far behind. Open a gold or silver IRA with Noble Gold Investments this month and receive a free one quarter ounce American Gold Eagle coin with every qualified IRA of $50,000. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold and their thousands of five star reviews. So call 877-646 5347 to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. And remember, there's always risk in investment and there are no guarantees of any kind. So exactly how dangerous it is, is it to let Tucker Carlson reset the narrative on January 6th? Okay, right off the bat, your bullshit detector should be going off. How could government transparency, especially in this case, be dangerous? The only people this could be dangerous to are the liars who have been misleading the public about January 6th from the very start. I think it's twofold. So this raises huge safety and security concerns for the Capitol. This will also reveal where video cameras are stationed in the Capitol. I've never heard a bigger load of bullshit in my life. There is zero evidence that the release of this footage poses any security concern. If they're concerned about the position of blind spots or cameras, they can simply change those positions. This footage was taken on public property, meaning that it was always subject to the Freedom of Information Act. And I just love how they use a so-called conservative Republican to deliver this spew. Like I said earlier, this footage was taken on public property and is thus available to the public. So as a Republican, like we always say, we back the blue. Will you just expose the entire Capitol and undermine the Capitol Police and their safety precautions for something like a January 6th were to ever happen again or something like 9-11 where the Capitol was targeted? <laughs> what the fuck am I watching? Unbelievable. Tucker Carlson having this footage is going to cause another 9-11. And the very idea that they're going to somehow smear Republicans as anti-police because they want government transparency should be another big red flag. She's talking on a show right now that called for defunding the police, spread misinformation that led to police being ambushed and riots that were based on misinformation and accused police of actively hunting down black people. But secondarily, it allows Tucker Carlson to invent his own narrative about what happened. 44 hours of, um, you know, hours of footage, you could come up with all sorts of different things to feed your narrative. And his audience just continues to get lies and lies about what happened that day. It's so, so dangerous. Wrong. You mean exactly like Democrats and their media have done from the very start? They've been lying about what happened on January 6th from the very start and using highly edited, selectively chosen footage to craft their narrative. What lies? We don't know because she doesn't give any examples as usual. But what I can tell you is that the Democrats, The View, and the rest of their state media have lied constantly about many things, such as claiming an officer had been beaten to death with a fire extinguisher. Lie. Claiming multiple police were killed as a result, when in fact the only other police who died were suicides, which to me is very suspicious. 
There were sustained Democrat riots for multiple years. Did any officers commit suicide afterwards? I never heard of any. It's how, how, am, how, isn't this against the law to do something like that? It, Why isn't it's it against not. God, no. Publicly available footage and government transparency are not against the law. Oh yeah, the Freedom of Information Act should totally be illegal. Isn't that right, fellow non-fascists? But I think the biggest thing here is what Alyssa said before, the security risks exposing the inside uh. of the White House. Mm -hmm. Exposing the inside uh. of the White House. Mm -hmm. And whereas there can be nothing good coming from it, they've investigated. We've done everything we need to do. Well, we've investigated ourselves and found we did nothing wrong. I guess that about wraps that up. It's not only not going to add good, it actually only has bad intentions. It's nefarious yeah. intentions yeah. drive this but isn't It's the transparency that's obviously bad intentioned here. Not the well-known propagandistic liars who are trying to cover this all up with fear-mongering propaganda. All right, folks, that's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. Please share, hit that like button, and subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment to continue the discussion. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you all in the next one.